Is it? Is it now? It is. It's the first Final Fantasy game. And it's one of the Pixel Remaster packages. The uh, original Final Fantasy was re-released in 2021 with what I would say is probably an actually pretty good adaption of it. Although some people were complaining. Well, we'll see about that. This is actually a game I don't have a whole lot of experience with. I had played it a little bit, but I didn't actually get all that far into the game before I just sort of um, moved on because, well, let's just say that I haven't played a lot of the early games in this series. Let's, uh, let's name these people. Oh, suggested names. Frankie, Riley, Ryko, Riley, Hubert, Claire... Saren, Andy. I guess you can't um, tell the sex of these characters from their sprites. So, Corrid. All of these names are terrible. <laughs> let's uh, let's um, name them something. Well, I mean, warrior, warrior. Who's a warrior? Cloud is a warrior. Thief. I mean, I can change the class, right? I can change the class. But who's a thief? Riku's a thief. White mage. Who's a white mage? Uh, yep, that's terrible. <laughs> Yuna. Yuna's a white mage. Who's a black mage? Of course, Vivi. Vivi is a black mage. I guess I could swap these around. I'm going to stick with this, though. Uh, the, uh, just in case you don't know, which I don't know why you wouldn't, watching this video, but these are characters of later games in the series. Cloud from 7, Riku from 10, Yuna from 10, and Vivi from 9, who corresponded to those classes. Uh, warrior, physical attack character, thief, can steal stuff, can also do physical attacks, white mage heals, black mage does attack magic. Oh, yeah, this looks very different. Very different to the original, uh, original game. Do they now? Where'd they get them? Oh, okay. I'm gonna use a controller, so I don't care about any of that. Cornelia. I, uh, all four of my characters, right in the beginning. Later games in the series would go and... Um, uh, oh, wash up. Later games in the series would, uh, put a little bit more effort into... Oh, shit, just took me right to the castle.
Hey, we have crystals. Oh, I'm, maybe I'm going through this text a little bit too fast. Kind of like an asshole. And it's going to rebuild the bridge if we rescue his daughter. The, um, the Final Fantasy series is well known for its storytelling. Now, of course, not every game in the series is as well received in terms of its story as others. But this being the first, uh, you'd have to remember the era in which this game came about. It's like a building inside of a room. <laughs> oh, okay, that's your that's the princess, not the princess. We got to rescue though. <laughs> We're looking at a game that was released in the 80s. This was a NES game, the Nintendo Entertainment System, the Famicom, whatever you want to call it. And at the time, story in games was pretty much limited to, well, Mario's got to go and rescue the princess, save the Mushroom Kingdom, that kind of thing. You had something with a little bit more depth to it, like, say, Castlevania or Metroid. Can I afford any of this shit? <laughs> I have gill. Oh, I do have money. It only costs eight? Shit. Sweet. Oh, actually lower accuracy by equipping the rapier. Oh. Okay. VV's just gonna have to stick with his stupid ass knife, his stupid ass staff. Okay, don't use the analog stick to control this, use the D pad. Hmm. Um, there we go. Although the warrior and the thief are both good at attacking, and the warrior is probably higher attack power. Why are you dressed all... Oh, you're the dancer. Oh, okay. Okay, so I don't have a lot of experience with this game. And it was a number of years ago when I first played it, or the last time I tried playing it. I do remember a few things. Dancing Girl gave you hints on where to go in the game. Oh, magic! You gotta buy magic. It's a good thing they gave me money. Didn't have money, then I'd have to go out and grind. Were you standing there before? Oh, Black Mage. Sleep never works. Works better than things like Focus would. Anyway. What the hell was I talking about? Do I have... stuff? About to go jumping into my first dungeon. Oh, I'm out of money now. <laughs> There wasn't much of a story in any game, really, at the time. And the ones that did have stories, it was pretty thin. So, along comes this game, and all of a sudden your characters have some kind of story to them. Your characters have something, and it's probably not much, really. We're not looking at much here. But it was better than what we had seen before, or at least it was more detailed than what we had seen before. And this must have been a huge step up in terms of 
what games were at the time. Now, it's an experience I didn't have. I had an NES, but I wasn't playing these types of games at the time, so... Who am I to judge? <laughs> White Mage actually did a lot of damage there. And we leveled up! Sweet! It's it's a little bit contentious over what it actually means to say something is an RPG. But for the most part, RPG characteristics are your characters have the ability to um, gain experience in some fashion and level up. They become more powerful as the game um, progresses. Oh, it's Garland. Oh, I'm at the boss battle already. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's take this guy out. There wasn't much of a dungeon leading up to him, was there? I guess it hadn't been established yet that it's important to have some kind of... ...dungeon leading into your, uh, into your boss battle. Oh! If Eevee can't cast magic, I... Oh my god, I can only cast three spells... ...I guess, per level. I don't have any level two spells, so I can't... ...I can't do that. Vivi's just going to have to do physical attacks, and Vivi's terrible at physical attacks. Is Yuna flipping me off? You know, Riku's actually doing more damage than Cloud is. Yeah, Yuna's flipping me off. <laughs> now, you got nothing. So, everybody's just going to do physical attacks. Perhaps I should have done a little bit more... Oh, no, nope, never mind, I won. <laughs> I was about to say, maybe I should do a little bit more grinding. Uh, I gained a couple of levels, it looks like. Well, I did kind of outnumber him. Shouldn't you have been rebuilding the bridge anyway? Yeah, thanks, Chancellor. <laughs> oh, I got a loot. What do I do with this? <laughs> Is it a weapon? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> See, look at how fast the story is progressing here. We just sort of slammed through um, several bits of story, like, and I am 14 minutes and 25 seconds into this game. All four of your characters are introduced, none of them display any kind of a personality. Um... Uh, you're placed on your first quest to go and rescue the princess. You go up there, you find Garland real quick, you beat his ass, you rescue her, and the bridge is being rebuilt so you can uh, move on. And in the middle of that, I went and I ventured up through there, ran the first dungeon, did my uh, gearing up. Now granted, the uh, this game seems to be progressing a lot faster. 
one of the concepts that's uh, sort of not that well regarded anymore in terms of these old school RPGs was that you had to do a lot of level grinding. So our characters level up, but in general, your progression through the story... Oh, okay, thanks. Their, your progression through the story goes faster than your character's strengthening. So, okay, yeah. Pleasant dreams. So you'll find yourself quickly running into places where your characters aren't strong enough to actually fight the enemies. And you get your ass kicked. So you need to spend a lot of extra time just sort of level grinding, killing monsters in order to get stronger. And especially the early Final Fantasy games, up until probably 5, required quite a bit of level grinding in order to keep pace with the strengthening of the enemies. In this, I probably should have had to do some grinding. This looks terrible. I mean, in <laughs> it's in keeping with the art style of the game, but it's so pixelated, like that city in the background, or castle, or whatever the hell it is. Looks so blocky and nonsense. So I do see a few changes here. One, the level grinding. I didn't have to level grind to take out Garland. I'm pretty sure I would have had to in the original game. The graphics, despite looking really dated here, are actually redone. In fact, I would say they probably are completely redone. I'd have to see the original game again in order to in order to get a better perception of that. But I do think that the graphics are completely replaced. The character models look a little bit more primitive than the environments. I'd say the character models look like a higher quality 8-bit game, like an NES game. The environments look much more like a SNES game, a Super Famicom game. So, a bit of a clash there, but, you know, it's not so much of a difference that I feel like we're, it's clashing too much. But especially the original game on the NES looked primitive as hell. Like this environment, like that water texture in the ocean, it looks vastly better. Vastly better than what you should be seeing on um, on an NES. Oh wow, really just throwing them at me here, aren't you? Oh, this battle might take a while. <laughs> I guess the blue ones are stronger than the red ones. The music, I mean, oh, look at this background, the battle. Now, this is a bit of a clash. I mean, it's a low res, but they're trying to do something that has a lot of detail. So it's got this grasp. It honestly looks more like something that they would have tried to do on the PlayStation than something they would have tried doing on the NES or SNES. But the it this does seem to clash a little bit with the character models. It looks like I can get somewhere up here. Is this all? Oh, no, mountains. Oh, just one. I was going to skip over this fight, but... Just bitch slap this thing and then move on. And, oh, okay, I thought I was going to level up there, but no. The world map looks vastly different. The original game looked... There was, like, no detail in your environment. Hmm. Goblin guards. I'm unsure where I'm going. <laughs> BV died! And I'm already here, but... <sighs> Crap. Is this a dungeon? Oh, we're in Fantasia. Oh, 
a red mage. How do you see through a crystal eye? All right, so I got to find your eye. Is it in here? <laughs> oh, I can run. Oh, treasure chest. Potion. Potion. What I need is a phoenix down. Oh, look at this. <laughs> what I need is a phoenix down to uh, recover Vivi. All right, this is not much of a dungeon. There's no battles, nothing. I guess it's actually a good thing. Because, uh... Okay, this has got to be in here somewhere, right? And I guess I got to find it somewhere else and bring it back here. It's a good thing it's not a dungeon, though, because Vivi's unconscious. And he's not going to gain any of the, the experience points from any of the fights on my way back. See, I... I I guess a little bit of level grinding is kind of necessary here because the enemies I was encountering weren't particularly damaging or powerful and they weren't able to either Cloud or Riku able to do any actual damage to them. Vivi on the other hand, I don't know about Yuna, Yuna didn't take many hits. Say uh, Yuna took a little bit of damage there. Vivi took damage also and Vivi... 27 HP, you know, not exactly the most dirty of individuals, so. I gotta recover my characters here. If he's still unconscious, do I gotta buy a Phoenix down? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. You gotta go visit a, a priest who functions like a doctor. And he's got no health, so I gotta go and... How much is a potion? Oh, wait, no, he doesn't have any magic either, so shit. So I'm gonna have to rest again. Wasting money. What are these wizard dudes doing over here? These guys have got to do something, huh? No, I'll figure it out. Items, I'll figure it out. Monsters, I will figure it out. Magic, I will figure it out. Moving on. There wasn't really any other items other than, like, healing items that were particularly useful in this area. Let me just get a phoenix down or two. Don't have the money! Because I spent it all. Dicking around. Maybe I should level grind a bit. But, uh, I got a whole continent to explore. So, hope I'll just try to survive. If Vivi goes down again, I'll retreat. But I kind of want to see what we got out here. Oh, look at this. Crazy horse. Just beat the piss out of him. Took out the first one before they even had a turn. Oh no, Yuna. So look at how much less damage is done on Cloud than any of the two mages. Because they have a... They're... Characters do more, uh, their characters are more resistant to damage. Even Riku's taking a fair amount of damage. Eunice flipping me off. I have a few potions, I should use them. Oh, everybody leveled up. What I'm looking for right now is defense. Oh, wait, hold on. How was defense calculated? 
Stamina, maybe? Maybe I should have listened to the wizards. <laughs> anyway, I need my characters to... Okay, stamina being... Wait, hold on. The white mage actually has more stamina than the... The... Defense. Maybe defense is based entirely off of equipment. In which case, the warrior has a lot better equipment in terms of defense than the other characters. So maybe leveling up doesn't increase defense at all. Damn it, Vivi, you sack of shit. You went down again. Alright, so I don't know what lies ahead, so I'm going to retreat all the way back to Cornelia. Oh, new enemies. Uh, damn it. I don't know what I can do about this. Oh, good, they're missing. That's what I need. <laughs> Yuna flipping me off. It's like, screw you for making me do stuff. Gonna run out of magic. Look how Vivi's down. Like his feet are sticking up in the air. <laughs> Alright, I'm out of magic completely now, so just attack. Kill it! Damn it. Is that a counterattack? No. Yeah, I really should use those potions. Everything's so expensive in this game, though. That's where... I mean, level grinding doesn't seem to have an effect on defense, but it does increase HP. Oh, that's a substantial increase in HP. But it does seem to be useful when it comes to um, gaining money. Because I'm not gaining money on any substantial speed, you know? I can't get in from up here. That's so stupid. Alright, I learned my lesson. Res VV first. You hear so often, you should get a, like, a frequent flyer discount. Maybe I should do some level grinding, after all. Because the other characters have gained a few levels and bv has been left out on account of being unconscious half the time. See, look at this. What level are we at? Level 4 for VV, level 6 for everybody else. So I'm going to do some level grinding. Alright, I did a little bit of level grinding. I actually went back to that first dungeon and found that there were some secret items there that I just bypassed because I didn't explore. One of which was a piece of equipment for Vivi here. Well, it could have gone to anybody, but I gave it to Vivi because it increases defense by one and Vivi is in desperate need of increasing defense. So, Vivi has better defense now. Not by a lot, mind you. Just enough to not get smacked around every time that there's an enemy that attacks. Well, there's nothing out there. You know, this map is really useful. Kind of makes me think... Oh, there's another town. Kind of makes me think that the original game didn't actually have a map. You know, since I'm right next to a town, just throw, throw out your magic. No sense saving it. You know, magic is really useful in this game. It does vastly more damage than my physical attacking characters are capable of. Just the whole problem being that it doesn't... You only have so much of it. My physical characters can throw out their attacks all freaking day. My mages can only do, what, three attacks between resting periods? I think it's three, right? Five now. Okay, so leveling up, Vivi's gained the ability, I guess Yuna as well, to 
increase um, the number of magic attacks. Please help us. Going to be specific? <laughs> sure, I'll, I'll help you. Okay. Oh, we've got pirates. Oh, another set of beds, like you're going to have a party of eight people. Oh, that looks like a pirate to me. All right, let's do this thing. <laughs> Keel haul him. Oh, look at that. A bunch of pirates. All right. I hope I'm not underpowered to do this. You know, something else I notice that's different in this game is the... Um, in the original game, when you attacked a... When you spent multiple characters to attack one enemy, in the event that that enemy died, the following character's attack would just attempt to attack the dead enemy and it would miss. So you had this... You had to put a little bit more thought into what you were doing there. In this... The, like the later games in the series, the attacks just sort of default to a new target. That's, um, that's really useful for the sake of the player. I mean, Alright, these things are, these guys are chumps. Probably a, like a boss fight, so I better save my magic. Boss fight coming after this. Oh! Dead. I got a ship. <laughs> okay. Uh, you've had a change of heart. No boss battle? I'm a little disappointed. Now, everybody seems to have already heard about this. Sleeping bags. These sound tremendously useful. <laughs> okay, finally, upgrading armor. You know, as though, as though Cloud really needed more armor. Increases his defense to 24, but weight is so heavy. I'm not sure what weight does. Oh, I can equip without, uh... I can equip things without um, jumping out of the menu. That should make life easy. Easy. So, okay. Let's get rid of this old shit. Get rid of all of this old shit. I'm going to hold off on buying that uh, iron armor. It's expensive, and I need to pay for magic. Get out of the way. Okay, I guess I'll help when I get there. Oh, weapon shop. Hammer. Broadsword. Ablarch. Scimitar. Should I go broadsword or should I go battle axe? Accuracy is better. I'm going to go with that.
Still have a little bit of money left over. Where's the magic shop? Well, here's the black magic shop. Oh, these are level two spells. Sweet! Oh, they're expensive. <sighs> Alright, I'm not gonna buy any of these. I got my magic attack. And maybe I'll come back for, like, temper or something. But for the moment, I'm just gonna... Oh, no. Does this cast? It casts. Alright, I'm not buying any of these for now. Should save my money. There doesn't seem to be any other... Rest up before we go. It's more expensive. It's 50 gil compared to 40. Where is the dancing girl? Doesn't seem to be anything to do in this town other than fight the pirate. Was that her? No, that's it. That's, I already talked to you. Why are you blocking the way? Been in all the buildings. Alright, I guess nobody... Get out of the way, you dick. <sighs> Move, keep going. There you go. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, a ship! A ship! And monsters! <laughs> Lots of monsters! Ice damage to one enemy. The red ones are probably more powerful, so let's throw magic at them. Oh, nice. The shield defended, like, absorbed the attack of insignificant damage. <laughs> and they're fleeing. You better run. I do like the magic effects. I wonder how much of a remaster, because they call these the pixel remasters. Uh, I guess there's no sort of industry standard term or definition of what the difference between a remaster and a remake is. I would tend to err on the side of um, a remaster being the original code of the game, but spruced up in some way, running a higher resolution, graphic assets replaced. Sort of like um, what you saw a lot of in like the PlayStation 3 games being re-released on the PlayStation 4. A port, but with some enhancements. A remake would be the entire game recreated largely from scratch. So, like, where do you where do you stand then on, say, like the Blue Point games, like the uh, Shadow of the Colossus or Shadow of the Colossus Remaster, or the what's the more recent one, um, Demon Souls on the PlayStation Five, which, as I understand it, the original game code is actually in there, running. And everything that you're looking at it is just new assets placed over top of it to give it an appearance of a remake. Where is that line, though? I don't know exactly where that line is. Where well, The reason why I'm bringing this up, though, is because I wonder if... They call these the pixel remasters, but I wonder if the original game code is inside of here. Or if this is... Like, they just completely recreated the game from the ground up. In which case, it would be a remake. I don't know. Hey, a shark! You know, I can believe the, the sea monsters with legs <laughs> would jump on board ship and attack. The shark doesn't make any damn sense to me. But, whatever. <laughs> oh, Vivi's almost dead. Do something to help Vivi. Vivi. 
flipping Vivi off. How dare you make me cure you? You know, Vivi is really falling behind in terms of HP growth. Really falling behind. I mean, look at that. Leveled up and... Oh, okay, finally. Finally gained a good level. Because, like, in the last several levels, only gained one HP per level. Now, what do we got, 22? That's finally significant. And intellect's really what you care about with a mage. Finally, you're still way behind, but not as far... I mean, you are... Um, okay, he's not actually a level below them anymore. Rest up. All right, so it's coming up on 45 minutes. It's uh, 45 minutes of Final Fantasy 1, the Pixel Remaster. You know what I'd say? Like, I'm not quite sure. I mean, it's definitely made the game more accessible, and some people aren't going to like that. But it does feel like it's giving you the experience of the original game. And the graphics are completely redone. But they're not gaudy. They're not, there's not a lot of, um, sort of like, trying to redesign the look of the game. It's sort of like, they're, in a sense, they're in a style that doesn't seem completely out of place, given what the game is. And let's face it, the original graphics in the game were hideous. So, this should be a welcome change. But anyway, that's, uh... You know what, I should probably turn this into a proper series, rather than a one-off. But for now, I'll bring this episode up as a one-off, and in the future installments, the episodes will be shorter. 